Hi again everybody, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games and today I'm going to do a developer diary on uh, converting a, a Unity iPhone game and then making it into an Android game and I'm also going to be distributing it online uh, through the Amazon App Store and a couple of other app stores as well. Uh, the, the last set of videos I actually did were developer diary videos uh, and the game was called um, uh, Line Runner X, Alpha Line Runner X at that point. Uh, so this is sort of a continuation of the developer diary. Uh, basically what, what, I, what I always do with games is um, try to get them into as many channels as possible uh, on as many platforms. Uh, so in fact um, I'm going to do a PC version of this game as well probably uh, so that people can play this on the web and that's pretty easy to do using Unity. So uh, for those of you who are new in, into this video, these sets of videos, uh, the developer diary videos, uh, are not tutorial videos. These are basically just videos on how to, uh, what an independent developer does uh, day to day and what I'll be doing. So all I'm going to do is basically just develop and then work on some code and then um, deploy the, the game onto an Android and everyone can see sort of how this works. So there's no structure to these videos as such, it's just basically for those of you who are interested how uh, independent developers do their work on mobile uh, mobile games and you know for possibly for people who are looking to improve their development skills or you know they sort of want some ideas on how to do things then that's this is really for you as well because you guys can ask me questions and I can respond with uh, with some comments or I can actually do another video if you want me to delve into that. So, uh, you know, any feedback is, is, is always good because I want to know really what, what people are finding interesting about these. Part of the reason of the video is basically because I've always loved to watch movies with um, uh, the making of documentaries, so the making of this movie. And, um, so that's what I really want to do with these, these videos as well. It's just, you know, sort of um, almost just a, like, like I say, it's a diary, video diary of just me developing stuff and then... Uh, just hopefully giving you guys some good information and, and something interesting to watch. So so what we've got is basically, let me play the game um, here so you can see it. So the name of this game is actually uh, Temple Jumper X, influenced by the Temple Run uh, game, which is an awesome game uh, on iPhone and now on Android as well. So the idea is you're just this little guy called Bit. And I'm playing on my Mac at the moment, but you've got to just avoid these blocks as they come along and they get faster and faster. You can jump and duck. Uh, some of them you have to jump and duck at the same time. And the style is meant to be sort of a uh, kind of an old school arcade kind of Atari game. Um, so I really went minimal on the on the graphics. Ah, I just got hit. So I'll flash when I get hit and then I have a two, two or three second window. Ah, I just got hit again. A two or three second window uh, of no blocks where it's a bit of a breather to. Oh, I'm getting, I'm doing terrible. The jump and duck is the hardest move. Oh, it's because you have to do it fast, so I'm doing really bad there. Um, anyway, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just converting this from a from a an iPhone project. So th this was actually um, it's been deployed onto iPhone uh, through iTunes Connect through the developer portal. And it should be approved and available on iPhone in about one week from now, which puts it around the 28th of April 2012. So what I've done is I've just switched this over to a, an Android project now, um, which is pretty easy inside of Unity 3D. You just click here down on Android and then you click switch platform and then that will convert everything over into a, an Android ready Unity project. And the next thing I want to do is, is actually... Um, uh, is actually test this on the Android. So uh, I have my Android plugged in here. This is ready to go. And so I'm just going to hit Command and B. And what that'll do is it'll start to build the projects there, as you can see, building player. Um, this is plugged in through just through a USB cable. And uh, it's pretty easy to deploy onto Android devices. The one that I've got here is actually a Google Nexus One. And this is a pretty old device uh, now. It's around, I think, two years old now. Uh, and it's a good device to, to develop on just because it's older and, and uh, it's if, if something can run on this device then it can run on a lot of devices. That's the way that I usually uh, usually think about things. Uh, some people could argue, say, hey, you know, the, the, the processing power of, of mobiles now is a lot higher so you might as well just go for a higher one. But, you know, so far it works pretty well and, and when I, when I 
if it can get if I can get it to run smooth on this and I can get it to look pretty good on this, then when I see it on another mobile, I'm, I'm just like, wow, that, that looks a lot better on there. So that's why I use this one right now. So this is just building away. Uh, it usually takes a few minutes to uh, to build and deploy. Uh, and I've mentioned before in my other videos what I'm what I plan to do is um, is a couple of tutorial videos uh, based on the games that uh, that we've already made and sort of explain how they were made and those will be pretty basic videos on how things were done so very very um, uh, beginner like videos uh, so for example um, we finished one called uh, Ping Pong Pingball X and it's kind of a pong game mixed with a pinball game and it's old school arcade. So that would be a perfect one for a tutorial for somebody who's just come into, uh, who's just started using Unity to build mobile games, or for somebody who's who who has no idea and they sort of just want to come in and follow along. It's uh, it's a really good uh, it's a really good example just because it's so simple. So you know definitely check out our games because then you know if if you're interested in some kind of feature in those games or if you wanted to know how we did something, then I can definitely do a video and explain and, and sort of say, hey, this is how you do it, and maybe just make a, a small video for individual features. So, okay, so here it is running on the Android now, so that's great, that's just deployed. Um, uh, hopefully, I, I can't see myself playing this now, but hopefully it's, I can play it okay, and I'm, it's a bit of a weird angle, but, so that seems to be working really well, and it's because of the the minimal graphics on here, it, it runs really smooth even on this old Android device. Yeah, that's working fine. Ah, oh, the game is working fine, but I am not. My skills are not working fine. Oh, okay. Anyway, so I hit an object, no more lives, game over. And that works fine. Um, so what we want to do is when we're testing here is we not just test the game itself but also check, test the uh, the functionality in terms of the buttons and uh, things like in-app purchases or, or if ads are popping up, these kind of things. So I'm just going to tap on more games here and see which one pops up. So it crashes, yeah. Um, I don't think I've put in a correct link there. So that's the first thing that we'll take a look at and we'll also look at putting in the ads as well. So, um, because that's one of the ways that we that we monetize freemium games is by putting in ads. So players get to play a free game and, and developers get to make money from that as well. So, okay, I'm going to cut this video here uh, just so it doesn't go too long and I'll be back for part two. So stay tuned, keep, uh, keep commenting and I will be back very soon. Bye-bye.